smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another video for you guys, and this video is going to be addressing some topics that you guys have been, you know, um, questioning. Uh, the reason why I'm titling this video how YouTube is like Americans Got Talent um, mainly is because I've been watching a lot of Americans Got Talent videos, and it's really, really cool, really, really shocking what people can do. YouTube is a new way to express yourself and show your talent. See, so yeah, guys, when people tell me I don't have an idea for YouTube, there is no way you don't have an idea for YouTube. Just whatever, what are you, what are you good at doing, and put it on YouTube. That is your idea. That's what your channel is going to be about. And anyone can make a YouTube channel. As hard as it is to think about what you're good at doing, just think about what you do on your every day. What do you love doing, and find something, guys. It's really not that hard. And once you find it, um, you, you're, you're going to be the happiest man alive. I mean, you don't even have. That's what I love about YouTube so much is that you can show off who you are without needing anybody else. You don't need to go on America's Got Talent. You don't need to go on Ellen. You don't need to go on some of these other shows to show what you're capable of. Um, I even saw this rapper. I don't know. He's like a new rapper. I don't know. It's like something hairy. Uh, he could literally rap any... If you like show him a word, he could consistently rap and throw that word within his rap and if people are walking by him he can like say what clothing they have on or what they're doing or how they look within his rap and make sense it's absolutely insane people have hidden talents and you can show it off on youtube and that's what he did and he blew up he got on the ellen show he didn't go on the ellen show then blow up he blew up on youtube then went on the ellen show it's just crazy stuff like that so that i mean all of that is considered pretty much my first uh pretty much secret to tell you guys uh, many people don't know about i mean that's kind of like the topic of this video but at the same time that's secret number one let me go on to secret number two a great way to grow your channel and a great way to get noticed is by literally um being humble you need to go to other channels show them some love they will show love back to you you guys can always chat grow together ask questions because as you guys know youtube doesn't really really support smaller channels Channels. Um, the best way to grow is by literally being friends with other YouTube channels, asking each other questions, and uh, pretty much growing together, setting challenges, setting goals, and you guys can achieve those together. I love it when a car just drives by; it makes this stuff super awkward. I'm always just—I'm just standing here vlogging, and it makes things really awkward. Um, but yeah, guys, that's number two. Basically, create friends um, with other YouTubers that are growing with you. And, you know, you guys will grow together. You'll make new friends. And that's how YouTube really is. It's, it's a community. And if you want to be part of you, if you want to be a part of YouTube, you're going to have to make a community, whether you like it or not. I mean, if you don't like it, then YouTube's really not for you. Um, but I mean, if you want to become a YouTuber and, uh, you know, you want to show off what you got to, you know, to the world or whatever you like doing, your hobbies to the world. You need to make friends. You need to stay humble. And that's how you grow. And that brings me to my number three. So, yeah, guys, if you really want to take YouTube seriously, I would really go ahead, which is my number three, is check your analytics at least once a week. I check it normally every single day just to see how my pre the previous day did on my video. So, if I were you guys, I'll check, I'll go ahead, check your analytics. Uh, once a week as new youtubers and just see you know who who are actually viewing your videos is it, are there people in the United States viewing your videos Canada um, you know what particular group is watching your videos is it uh, you know from ages 18 to 24 is it younger kids is it you know is it adults kids what gender you can check all those things in your com in your uh, your YouTube settings or YouTube analytic page all that stuff um, I would go ahead and check those at least once a week see who is your audience and try to make content focusing on those audiences for now and as you grow you can try to grit you can try to bring in new people but right now focus on who you have and that will help you grow. For most YouTubers, they like to do their own thing. I mean, for people who start YouTube, they don't really know what idea to focus on. And when you don't focus on an idea, you kind of get your subscribers lost. They don't know what's what's going on with your life. They don't know what's going on with the channel. So they just end up unsubscribing and they just end up leaving and they never ever come back to watch your videos. So you have to give a focus on your channel and that focus will attract people. It'll attract certain ages to your channel, certain genders, and eventually you can um, be more broad, you can be more open and change what your channel is about. But that all takes time, guys. Take one step at a time with YouTube and you will get there. So like that tags along with my number one, guys. So if you have a talent or you have a hobby or something, focus on a hobby till you get pretty big and then oh, be start being broad because your subscribers are watching your content for your content when you're small. And when you get bigger, your subscribers watch your content for you. YouTube is turning into a kind of a personality thing. It's been like a personality thing for a little while. So 
people who end up subscribing are more for you rather than your content um, when you get bigger but as of a small channel you need to make good content and you need to make your YouTube channel have a specific topic um, so you know your your audience doesn't you know get confused and stuff when they when they let's just say like my channel is about BMWs when people come to my channel they're hoping to figure out something new about their BMW or they're hoping to find a fix for their car or whatever issue they're having with their BMW or even they just want to see it how to have fun with this BMW they just come to my channel and that's what my topic of my channel or even the idea of my channel it's basically BMWs as of now I want to expand I want to get other cars but as of now I'm focusing on who my audience is and that's BMW owners and that's what I'm making my content around so that gets me to number four guys and that is having equipment that is having like a uh, camera gear um, and at, my number five is having to do with uh, actual a software so I'm just gonna talk about number four right now which is the camera gear camera gear is really not that important if you guys didn't know I started off this channel with a GoPro Hero 3 um, that GoPro, GoPro cost me about like a hundred dollars at the time I got it for a really really good deal as of now you can pick it up for like under a hundred bucks uh, the GoPro 3 silver is what I had and it worked amazingly during the day just make sure you record your videos during the day if you get that GoPro but it doesn't matter you can use your phone you can use whatever the reason why I didn't go with my phone is because of limited memory but you can still make videos with your phone you can still do um, whatever you have with things you have at home you don't have to spend money to start a channel but as you grow you might want to invest more money but as a beginner YouTube channel you don't need money to grow it just needs your talent it just needs your hobby it just needs your your time and devotion into your channel will grow your channel that's all it takes it, you don't need a, a fancy DSLR camera you don't need a stabilizer or a green screen you don't need any of that as a beginning youtuber you just need a simple simple thing that can capture image anything simple I mean even if you want to go down to Walmart and pick up a really danky camera that costs like 30 bucks I mean it's whatever you want to do I mean it's not that expensive you could probably get it and if you really 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 want to be a youtuber or want to show off your talent or your your hobby then you know that's not a big investment in the long run and yeah so as like I said guys my last thing which is number five is software like I said earlier about camera equipment you don't really need fancy software I use iMovie I use iMovie to make most of my videos if you guys didn't know that um, it's not really a hard software to use and nor does it cost much I mean it costs like what is it like $15 I think I actually I think I got it for free on my Mac it was a free software for me it's free software for anyone that gets a Mac and obviously if you can't afford a Mac there's movie makers pretty much the exact thing as uh, iMovie but iMovie is more convenient for me because you know it's on my MacBook and it's portable so I can edit at school wherever I am um, it's just very 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 easy to use and I'm trying to get into Final Cut Pro and I'm trying to get into like uh, Adobe and all that stuff flash I don't know all that kind of um, harder softwares to make cooler effects um, you guys if you guys know Justin Buse you guys know that his content is on par it's crazy it's just that's what I want to get to but as a beginner youtuber guys you don't need fancy software and that's the end of that I mean there's nothing really number five number five is you don't need fancy software you could just use regular software that's on your computer or pay like 15 bucks or even five bucks to get some really cheap software to edit your videos and that's all it takes so in conclusion guys starting a YouTube channel you just need an idea one idea and you just need 30 bucks let's just say for a camera or if you already have the camera that's all you need and you, you can get free software and you can make a YouTube channel anybody and that's what I love about YouTube can show off their talent or their hobby for free you don't need to pay you don't need to go to Americans Got Talent you don't need to be on the Ellen show to show off what you have or what you can give to the world you can show it here on YouTube and that's the blessing and that's what I'm blessed with every day guys again to show you guys my car and everything I want to do to my car I can show it to you guys and that's the blessing of YouTube so if you guys want to do the exact same thing go for it for all of my automotive uh, YouTube channels and you know if you have an idea for YouTube just start it even if you just want to sit down and talk about how much you hate school trust me people are gonna uh, watch those videos and you're gonna get a lot of feedback and your channel is gonna grow so if this video helped you guys out smash that like button and I see you guys on Friday peace out and stay humble she got me saying yalla baby I need you to see me quit with the front and then put your guard down girl we know you ain't easy she got me saying yalla baby I need you to see me quit with the front and then put your guard down girl we know you ain't easy you know